Oh, 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 oh. So the ballad of Buster Scruggs. Yeah. Um, I remember we talked about uh, Wes Anderson, mm. where you said that you can't handle it anymore because yeah. it's always Wes Anderson. And you get you get hate for Wes Anderson <laughs> between every Wes Anderson movie. Yeah? <laughs> and, just, and I just like him. Yeah. And then I hate yeah. it again. Um, and I, I, I said that I can understand that. Mm. And I can understand why people would get that similar kind of hate for the Coens. No. Because um, their movies, they aren't, they aren't nearly as narrow in focus mm. as with Anderson, but they have always this sort of quirky Jewish uh, way of looking at, at no. life and so on. So, um, but I, I never get that with the Coens. I'm always waiting for the next Cohen movie. Yeah, I have the same thing. Um, <clears throat> apparently this Buster Scruggs thing is a, I think it's a compilation of sort of short stories set in the West. Mm. Um, I don't know if they have any connection with each other or are they just complete vignettes. Mm. And they wrote this thing like, I think it's been in development for a long, long time. Okay. Um, and it'll be interesting because they're apparently releasing it on Netflix. Yeah. Um, based so on the trailer, it seems just as funny as Coins tend yeah. to be quirky characters, uh, dialogue. <laughs> First time. Um, they've sort of apparently they've sort of fell in love with the West now because because they did the No Country for Old mm. Men is a pretty much a modern Western, yeah. and then True Grit it was a proper Western, and so on. So they they tend to sort of gravitate towards that now but but I, I thought it I mean it was bewildering and strange and mm. you don't really get a sense of what's going on in the trailer but I I, I sort of immediately took a liking to it yeah I liked it a lot also and uh, the thing about this particular trailer was that um even though it's as trailers are it has only this small like glimpses into the movie but you get this sense that everything behind that glimpse has been well developed and made yeah. so it sort of has this solid foundation behind it like and it's it's really nice to see something like that yeah. when it it feels like uh, it really feels uh, unlike the other trailers that we've seen like the Holmes and Watson trailer or the X-Men trailer this has this sense that you get you get the sense from the scenes that this the scenes are good in and of the in and on themselves but they also give you this sort of an echo that the movie will probably be as good or yeah. maybe even better yeah yeah i also always like to see um sort of established actors go through the sort of the cohen meat yeah. grinder <laughs> yeah yeah because <Yeah. laughs> cuz when you see like people like James Franco mm. and Liam Neeson who haven't been in Cohen yeah. movies before, it's always nice to see that they're probably they're going to stretch their acting muscles a bit yeah. more than their... It's not, it's not going to be like, um, you know, I will find you and I will kill you <laughs> kind, <laughs> yeah. of, kind yeah. of character. It's, yeah. yeah, and the Coens, uh, they, uh, for me, I mean, I haven't seen a bad movie from them. I haven't even seen a movie that is just okay from them. They're all really good. Yeah. and really interesting and they have this sort of um, for me they have this sort of like um, it's a silly term to use but this brand recognition yeah. that you can sort of trust the brand yeah. that they have yeah 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 I've seen I, I've seen all I think I own all of their movies pretty much and I've seen a couple of sort of mediocre mm. ones um, that won't if I'm going to watch a Cohen movie again, they won't be on the list, mm. maybe. But um, but none of them are bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll, I'll be looking forward to that. Cool. 
crazy business.